Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Excited day today. I've travelled up north to train with Britain's strongest man, the one and only Graham Hicks, who is currently training for Big Dogs. Big Dogs 4, November the 2nd in Australia. And from looking at your training, you've got a legitimate chance of doing really, really well over there. Come up, don't ask me why I've come to do a bench session with Hicksy. I'm on like week two of a program and I'll be benching, my top set is going to be 155, but you're going to go for 280 today, which would be a British record if you do that in a comp, is that right? Yeah, I mean the, the plan is 280. I did two seven, two and a half, uh, two or three weeks ago. Wasn't really feeling very good for the session, but I made sure I hit what was planned. So it's planned again today and I'm feeling a bit better, so hopefully... You look more. massive! <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah, like, I'm, I'm bigger than ever. You've been focusing on yeah. static strength for the last few months. Yeah, the fitness is terrible really. Um, you don't need it right now. No, I don't need it, no. But you, yeah, I know, I've spoken to you about this and you really want to try and challenge that world record. Yeah, sure. because I've, I've, it's obviously opened my eyes when I did the Andy Bolton lift um, last year. Uh, obviously I never, I never actually thought my grip would be good enough. Pulled four or five with minimal training for it, um, and then obviously started benching and benching big numbers already. Um, squatting's going well. It's not as good as probably some of the guys competing, um, but I'm making it up in bench press. Yeah, and I can keep up with them obviously on deadlift. I think the one thing that I've said it before, the one thing that separates you from a lot of us <coughs> is that you're good at all three lifts. Yeah, I reckon I could go up to a powerlift and put a big squat up and a big deadlift. You know, there's other guys who do a big bench and a, and a big spot perhaps, yeah. but you can get huge numbers on all three lifts. And you know, I've seen what you can just do in the gym. If you start kind of maximizing on that, you are going to have a legitimate shot at a world record. So, yeah. so if, if I do 280 today, that means I'm at the 1090 training total so far. Nice. Yeah. I guess the, the goal is, is 1,100. 11, well, for me personally, 1,100 in the gym. Yeah. And then, as close to that world record on a day as I can, really. Is um, it 1,145? It's 40, yeah, 1,140. Um, okay, 40, okay. You know, I think if, if, I break, yeah. If, yeah, if I break the top 10, which is obviously if I go over 1,100, I break into the top 10, my first goal, then I definitely believe that I can do it if I a six months training. <laughs> um, Let's get to some training and yeah. make it happen. Yeah, of course. Show us how you bench. Right, yeah, so I. I get myself off the end of the bench. Um, I put my middle finger on the ring. Uh, some people put the, the, the forefinger on the ring. I've just found that that's my happy place. Uh, try and keep both my feet back to the point where I already feel that there's quite a bit of tension. And then I really fight to get in, into position. And then my eyes go under the bar. So, sweet. eyes under the bar. Flaps back and then my feet, I drive my feet down. So my whole body's under tension and it's completely uncomfortable. <laughs> That's what I've learned. The more uncomfortable I can be, the, usually the better the bench is going to go. And I, like, I like to hold my breath for the set. For the whole set. If I hold my breath, I can keep the tension. I don't, yeah. if, usually when I exhale. Are you trying to sort of retract through? Yeah, try and, well? try and completely retract them whole things the whole time. Just a little like for people watching. If you think about when you're benching and you're kind of you know relaxed in the back, suddenly you kind of tighten up. You take two or three inches off the yeah, the motion yeah it's, and you it's not just that as well. It's the you're in a stronger position against the it's bench. It's protecting the shoulders a bit. So like when I started benching, yeah, uh, I would bench and then. You, you tend to overextend, yeah, yeah. which then puts your shoulders under so much pressure. Um, but obviously, by keeping them back, it protects my shoulders. So, oh. awesome. but yeah, I like to get tens, three, six, three, four sets of ten done, get warmed up, and then we'll start putting some weights on. Is that back far enough? Yeah, so to hang off even a bit, yeah, so you're hanging off. Yep. And then kick both feet forward and kick them back just to get them back a little bit more. So that they feel it, they already feel like that's that, that stretch. Tight in my hips. And then you really pull. Four hours of driving up. before benching <laughs> isn't, isn't the one. It's even rise level with the bar. That's it. And then you really want to push them down. And 
Which you just see me try to get it out, you know, and like a fork and a knife. Like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the problem. Yeah. Back a bit stiff. Hardcore way. Yeah, but the, I don't know if this is different, but I actually like when I put this one in my mouth, I'm like, ah, you know, been, the previous one, I, I, it was all right. Have you tried this one, the um, corn flake one? No. No, this is the. Um, oh, it is. No, this is the RLF. Pre workout. Right, show us where you um, do all the magic. And yeah, so this. This unit in here is mine. Um, obviously, a lot bigger than my garage where I used to train. Um, got my logs, got a monolith now. Um, Yokes farmers, four platforms, plenty of weights, deadlift bars, bench. Got my Atlas stones here. Um, various dumbbells lying around. Um, and between this and next door, who we'll show you now. We pretty much have everything, whether it's strongman, powerlifting, weightlifting, uh, dare I say CrossFit. <laughs> but yeah. You don't like you're ready to do some CrossFit? I've probably done about a thousand steps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got a nice big area here. Hopefully it will stay like this. Um, you got cool, you've got a great, it's a great unit to, you know, you've got everything you need here. Yeah. That's, 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 there. that's where I did the... At the Cerberus ones, I was tossing them over them things. Oh, I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, all these, like all these likes. Yeah. You know, and, uh, I didn't really give a monkey's. <laughs> just it. Hey, you got to practice kick toss and yeah. sandbag toss. You got to practice it. Yeah. And then this is Josh's gym next door. Is it Manny coming all up with the dragon? One and only. Too fancy for me in here. <laughs> Very clean as well. It is, it's a lot cleaner than yours. <laughs> I get my mum to clean. He gets his mum to clean. <laughs> 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 we trained her for half an hour and get her to clean. Yeah. <laughs> you trained it today? Pardon? You trained it today? Yeah, I'm going to do some marks. Alright, oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. Alright, let's go do right. some benching. I feel like it, it knocks my hips out. I've sort of, just because of the heel, I've, I've had to, when well, I was bending my feet up, to put the okay. I've done my very best. Because the bench I've pretty much stuck to, and the deadlift. The squatting's just had to be. I found that. Obviously, with the mobility and the wrapping, yeah, I can't get in everything he wants me to do. So, I'm not going to do so. With like um, powerlifting kind of technique, as soon as you do one rep, it all starts to loosen up a little bit anyway, doesn't it? You like your rep out, sure, yeah. Yeah, I did. I don't know what jumps you have planned. I, I normally just jump down from 25 just like that. I'm only going to, I'm going to stick to my weights, so. Yeah. yeah there's no point in I'm on 455. I reckon that push would only bench 200 kilos at the moment.
Wasser. Ich habe Zeit, dass ich es Hier, natürlich. Touch your abs. Keep them tense. Go. Oh, man, quick. 
down. Speed break. Big yeah. breath, big breath. Good. Good. 
Yes, quad drive. Really nice. Quad one, big rep. Push, Blade. push. Blade. session there mate, went up to 270 and then a back up to 220, making it look very very easy. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I feel good. I'm, you know, like we've discussed for the whole session, I'm still, you know, still learning. It's, it's one of them things with the powerlifting that, you know, I'm strong enough, but margins for error are very tiny because if I'm, if I'm not correct with my line then... I think that's the big difference between like strongman and powerlifting. So a strongman is, a lot of the things are about repetitions, you need that kind of ability to adapt to a lot of different situations where in powerlifting is precision. Yeah. It's all about having perfect lining, you know, obviously you need to be really strong, which you are already, yeah. but it's getting, it's mastering that one movement. Yeah. Whereas as a strong man, you're sort of like a jack of all trades. Yeah. And, and now it's getting more and more training. I mean, that 270 is awesome. It's better than 260. Yeah, that well, shows, that, that was it. That just shows that like, if, if, if I don't get it exactly right, yeah. then I've got a fight to get the rep. But if it's exactly, it's exactly right, then it's just about, Trading that movement and getting stronger in the movement. So how long have you got now to big dogs? Uh, I've got eight weeks. You looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm, you've got to smile. You never smile. Because I'm never happy. He's never yeah. happy. happy yeah. This is like the trait of Graham Hicks. He's never, never happy. happy. I mean, he I breaks just... a world record. He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's a Jonas like, I suppose. You know. But... Yeah. Well, I know you expect a lot of yourself. Yeah, I mean... I just it's frustrating because I am so strong right now, but like I am limited with experience. Yeah. And, you know. It, it, you can see it sometimes, sometimes I do something and it's just harder because it's not, it's not done properly. I think you've got to treat this first one as a learning curve still and as crazy as that sounds because you're going to go there and you're going to smash a huge total and I think you're going to get, at least if not, you're going to get very very close to a 1,100 kilo total which first powerlifting competition is just ridiculous. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then you give yourself a year on top of that, really focused on it. Well, no, you know, you like, I, like I said, you know, we've, we've discussed it and it's not even, it's not even, Doubtful in one percent of my head. If if I continue to bench and keep, continue to practice, you know, precision and with a bit of a heavier weight, so I'll be a three hundred bencher. You know, it's are we going to see you back doing any strongman? Obviously, you got you won the British this year. I don't. Let's talk about doing the British next year. Um, you got a lot of hungry young guys kind of coming for the title. You know, stop. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't answer it. You know, I, I I watch the giant shows and then I sometimes I see I see things and I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to defend it, and then but I look at the bigger picture of what I'm trying to achieve. I think you do, you, you get overlooked quite a lot as a strong man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've seen people going on about who's the best in the British, uh, uh, Brit you know, the, uh, the British guys right now, and it's one of those things. You, we can all beat each other depending on events, and you know, Tom can have a great set of events, yeah. Felix can have a great set of events, you can, I can, you know, Luke, Bish. There's there's so many good guys right now, and it it does often come down to who's in shape at the time and. and who doesn't make any mistakes? And, yeah, you know, like the um, the Giants live on the weekend. You change the Hercules hold to say a loading event. Suddenly Tom would have gone a lot higher. Felix might have yeah. dropped a few points. Yeah. You know, one event can make a big difference. But I know how focused you are on the powerlifting. And the thing is, one, like, one I, yeah, like I say, it's it's not the hunger for the for the Britons isn't there at the moment anymore. Because I've, I've done it. You know, I, I chased that for three years. When I came back that year that you came second, and yeah. Eddie, came, and Eddie won it. Uh, the year after I came second and I pushed Eddie yeah. and you know and I was actually ill leading up to that, I had food poisoning and you know, I'd never really said anything to anyone, I just cracked on and people never understand what goes reflected on. Reflected on it, you know, like I give away forty kilos to Eddie and I was like at one point people were thinking, is it my day? You know, and I messed the loading up and next thing the, the show went in his favour and 
uh, back chasing him again but then you know he wasn't there like this year would, would you like to see Eddie back to, to, to compete against him I think I would yeah, yeah. I would you know if, if I knew Eddie was doing it then I'd probably say yeah I'm going to do it yeah. um, but you know I've got my third child now and you know she's only eight weeks old we're still trying to adapt you know I've got two kids Layla and a little boy I've got to pick up in a minute um, you know it's, it's difficult to fit strong when in as well yeah. uh, the power if it just suits me right now and training keeps me training, training keeps me strong um, well you're definitely yeah. strong look at the size of the shoulders <laughs> yeah. I feel really weak and small right now <laughs> right now I'm just getting back into some pressing I'm squatting and deadlifting less than 150 kilos so I feel really weedy next to next to Higgsy yeah. but it's awesome to come, come up and train next time hopefully I'll be a bit stronger yeah, um, maybe we'll, we'll do some know, squats and deadlifts yeah. next time, but I can actually push you yeah, in it. Hopefully, we can make a bit more of a, a thing of it. You know, you can drive this far, you know, bring the wife up, kid up, whatever. Thank you very much, mate. All right. I'll let you go get the kids. Thanks very much. Take it easy, buddy. See ya.